Hello everyone, welcome back to Gadroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the rainbow six siege is having crashing at startup which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start, right click over here and go to this particular icon, go for a simple restart. So once restart is done, we have to try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. If the issue is still it's not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from the Steam, which is why we are having this particular issue. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go to the installed file and we just need to click on the browse. Now from here, if you go back, you'll be able to find this. That is this PC, new volume D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. So this is what we need to do. So this is the uh, particular folder. So this is the installation folder. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll be able to find the Rainbow Six Siege. So this is the Rainbow Six. So this is the application that is 53775 uh, 53, KB. So try launching the game from here. That is the first thing what we need to do. So for most of the users, when they launch the game from the installation folder, it worked for them. So you can try this out as well. So if that is not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here, right click over here and go to the show more options. And we have to go to the properties. Now from here, we have to go to the compatibility. Now from here, we have to go over here and click on run this program as an administrator and go for OK. And that's what we have to do. So try launch the game after running it as an administrator. If it's still it's not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about we can run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here in the same right click over here and go to the show more options and go to the properties, go to the compatibility. Now from here, we have to click on run this program in compatibility mode. Now from here, if you're on Windows 7, you have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. If you're on Windows 8, we have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. So once you're done with this one, we just need to close this and we need to close this as well. And we have to go back and we need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to make sure the date, time and region is correct. So just go over here in the search over here and we have to go to the settings. Now from here, we have to go over here, go to the time and language. Now from here, we have to go to the date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. So we have to make sure this is correct and this has to be correct as well. So once you've turned this on, we have to close this and we have to go back and we have to go to the language and region. Now from here, we have to make sure that we have to select the respective country from we are. So if you're from United States, select United States or from any other country, select the respective country. Once afterwards, we just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure that is we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button but at the same moment you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. When you press Alt and Tab from the keyboard it did work it for many users so you can try this out as well. Once you're done with this one the next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC. Go to documents and you will be able to find the folder over here on the game rainbow six siege and if you find the folder you have to delete it so keep in mind you have to delete the respective folder and once you delete the respective folder you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine just once you delete it you just need to close this and we need to go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search and we have to go to the control panel now from here we have to go to the system and security we have to go to the windows defender firewall now from go, go over here allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to go over here and we have to find rainbow six siege so keep scrolling down and navigate to r so right now hence it is an alphabet if you scroll down you'll be able to find the rainbow six siege over here so that is what you have to do so if you're not able to find the game we can add it by default so just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc over here go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go over here go to the steam go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to we need to find the game so let me do one thing i think i have wrong installed it on d so just let me go to the d go to steam library go to steam apps go to common 
Now from here, I'll be able to find the rainbow six siege. Now from here, I have to select this one and I have to go for open and I have to add it. So it's already added, that's why I'm getting the error. So once the game is added, just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. So just unplug all the USB devices and once you unplug all the USB devices, try launch the game and that will be working for you in most cases. It did work for many users, you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search and we have to go for system configuration. Now from here we have to go to the services and we have to go for disable old, go for hide all Microsoft services and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok. So those who are watching this you have to go for restart but I'm gonna go for exit without restart because or else I'll be having the trouble. So just go for exit without restart and we need to try launch the game. Once you're done with this one, we need to move to the next step that is all about we have to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, go to the install it files. Let me do like this. Go over here and make sure this has to be turned off. Once you turn this off, we need to try launch the game. If that is not working, we have to go over here and we have to set this. The first one is all about DX11. Try with DX11. That is, you have to give the commands in the launch option is the next step. So give the first command DX11 and try launch the game. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and we have to try launch the game. So either DX11 or DX12 will be working fine. And once you launch the game, you need to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do like this. We just need to do this. We just need to close all the overlay application which is running. So just go over here at the start, right click over here and go to the task manager. Now from here, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background, which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. So from here, we have to find the unwanted things. For example, Discord, Riva Tuner, MSC After. All these um, comes under this category and you have to remove it. And once you remove it, close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search, go for view advanced system settings, go to the advanced, go to the settings once again, go to the advanced once again, go for change and select the local disk where the game is in start. And in my case, it is D and go to the custom size, select the value initial size, which is 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is three times the total RAM. So just go over here in the search and we need to find the calculator. So just type here RAM. So 32 GB is the RAM and we have to multiply it with 1024 and type into 1.5. So that brings you 14 and 152. So just copy this and we have to paste it. Next one, type 32 GB multiplied with, with 1024 and we have to multiply with 3. That is 98304 and you have to paste it as well. So once you set the value, everything go OK, do a restart and afterwards try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search and we have to go to the graphics settings. Now from here, as you can see, like I have already added all the games, so I have to add the game. So just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to find Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege and we have to find this and go for add. So right now the game is added. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to find the game. So just click on the game. Now set this to click on the options. And as you can see, this is let Windows decide. Change this to high performance and you have to change this to high performance and go for save and close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we need to update the Windows. So just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings. Now from here we have to go to the windows update and we have to update the windows and keep in mind or else you'll be having a lot of trouble. So just update your windows, which is very important. So once you're updating the windows, try launch the game. If that is not working, we have to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia. So if you're on the Nvidia, just go to this link, select everything like product type, product series, product operating system, language, etc. So if you're on Windows 11, go over here and go for start search, select every details over here. And once you submit, if you scroll down, you'll be able to find this. So find the respective version and we have to download this one and rinse, install and restart the PC. So if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select the graphics over here and we have to go to this particular one and go for submit. And from here, if you're on Windows 11, you have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. And restart is a mandatory. And also parallelly, we have to update the Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description to from this. 
and if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory so last and the least one is all about we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back for this just go over here we have to go to the game right click over here and go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you can install it back but keep in mind right now i installed the game on d so i have to change the position to c so if the game is on c try to in the position to d and these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with the rainbow six siege and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye